Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new market analysis video. Now, as you guys know, I did lots of investments and tipped lots of investments, both in my premium trading server and in my videos over the weekend. And well, what can I say? These investments have made us so many coins. So I'll be going over all the investments which I did shout and the profit as to when to sell, obviously your cards, your investments, which you bought in over the weekend in today's video. And I hope this does help you out, as well as say, uh, saying to you guys what we can expect on the market over the next coming days as we continue to edge closer towards Black Friday and continue on with the triple threat promo. I do hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to help me out. Also, guys, I do have a premium trading server. If you are interested, we have professional traders in there, which are paid to send professional tips of when to buy and when to sell cards in order to make a profit price is 10 quid for the rest of 2023 if you're interested drop down below into the description hit me up on discord just send me a friend request at man's notice all the information's in the description down below anyway without further ado let's show you guys my new sponsor and let's get straight into the video if you guys are looking to get your hands on the cheapest safest and most reliable coins around right now then be sure to check out my new sponsor mitchcactus.com Mitch Cactus also have over 10,000 verified reviews from their customers, so be sure to use code MANZA at checkout for an extra 5% off your order. Okay, so let's start off by talking about what SBC content we saw yesterday on Tuesday. Now, what we saw mainly was a few player SBCs which didn't have too much of a move on the market. Obviously, we did some trading in the premium sub with a batcher. I'll show you guys that later. But in terms of the main thing that moved the market, we saw the 84 plus road to the knockout our Trailblazers upgrade. Again, his coming in at an 83 rated squad shocked a lot of people as it coming in a lot cheaper than everyone was expecting. And obviously 83 rated squad moved the price of lots of 83s on the market. Now, why is that perfect for us? Because what did I tell you guys to invest in over the weekend? I told you guys to invest in your 83 rated cards. They were down at 1.3, 1.2, sometimes even on bid or 1.4K. And I told you guys they would get too cheap. And when the party bag SBC comes out, we would require these 83 rated and as you guys can see i've been selling all my 83 rated tonight i'm recording this on a tuesday night i've been selling all my 83 rated on lazy for around about 1.8k now as you guys know i did do the unassigned glitch again video on my channel if you guys want to know how to do that just a couple videos back unassigned glitch basically allows you to buy infinite amounts of fodder with your coins beyond the 100 that it normally lets you so as you guys can see i've literally been lazy selling all of this for 1.8k i've still got a few more i've been trying to get a few lazies a little bit more but i'd say we've got around about another what is it five 10 20 30 40 50 around about another nearly 60 cards here at 1.8k so we made around about 100,000 coins profit just from this train alone uh, trade alone and that was only within a few days if we tab over to footman and have a look at our cheapest by rating you guys can see that your 83s are now all 1.7k pretty much and see these are some of the cards that have ballooned in price the most for example if we take someone like let's have a look at mbok for example again this is just a generic 83 rated fodder card she's selling on at 1.7 you guys can get lazy for 1.8 as you guys can see, around about, if we go back to Saturday, you guys can see 1.35. You could pick her up on bid for about 1.3, 1.4. As I told you guys to do, sometimes went even as low as 1.2k when, again, this was tipped in my server on Sunday night. Then, as we come into Monday, a few more people began to invest. We saw peaks bound to about, about 1.6k. And then, similarly today, boom, we see the upgrade SPC come out. And we see that rise in price up to around about 1,800, 1,900 coins. Currently down a little bit at 1,700. But as I say, you guys can still get all these lazy sales for 1,800 coins. So what do I invest you guys doing? Uh, advise you guys doing who are also invested in 83s like me? I advise you guys taking the profit most likely. Now, I know you guys are going to be watching this on Wednesday. So I would recommend you guys sell this coin. Uh, your 83 rated cards tonight i've got all of mine out early so i can have my coins back for flips but again these cards aren't going to go down in price why aren't they going to go down in price because of a key factor with the new 84 plus road to the knockout or trailblazer uh, upgrade it's repeatable it's repeatable every 24 hours so therefore there's going to be a constant demand on 83 rated cards unless we see a massive store pack it's very likely that these cards stay up at 1800 coins on lazy sales. So again, don't sell them for the cheapest by now. Make sure you're making increased profit with these cards, selling them on lazy. So I think selling them at 1800 coins, I was making about 320 coins per card. I think about I had about 350 of these items, 300 to 350. So when you do the maths like that, I think, yeah, we made around about 100,000 coins profit in just a few days with this simple trade, which is obviously really, really nice. Now, again, that's mainly talking about our fodder, and it's not only 83 rated that have been affected by this upgrade. We've also seen 84s, but they haven't moved as much as many people hoped. I know a lot of people invested in 84s, and these are actually down in price to around about 3.3. So, again, 3.3 on bid is a good place to invest in 84s. If you're already invested, I would hold. Reason why is because fodder already always does well around black friday content now when is black friday it's literally in like a week and a half's time or something it's not this friday it's the next friday apologies if you can hear my dog barking in the background but 
basically what that's going to do is there's always going to be a bunch of SPCs drop so it's going to drop a lot of uh, things that's going to require your fodder so most likely we're going to see 84s go up because they're quite often required in SPC solutions and they're down in price a lot at the moment so definitely somewhere I would be looking to invest again if you guys don't mind a mid to long term fodder hold now let's talk about a few mad fluctuations on the market which we tipped in the premium server the first and my favorite one that was tipped in the premium server and again this was one of my personal trades was Cascarino's triple threat card now I tipped this card at 330 30,000 coins and I did a sell time which again when we ping you to sell these at 515,000 coins as you guys can see right at the peak of the graph so an insane trade there and these are the trades that you guys can have access to as well as some other investments like for example investing in Chelsea cards which are up in price a lot at the moment due to their constant demand we tip these cards at 550 then our 1.5k it's just little trades like this you guys can get yourself in on I mean we tip this on Sunday lots of our members bought in and then boom as you guys can see ahead of the market rise sold them off for 1.5k easy profits that's available for you guys there in the premium server if you need it now in terms of what's going to happen in, over the market on the next couple days me personally i'm not touching gold at all reason why is because it's just so risky especially as we come into this black friday time period yes we've seen that market rise on monday again I'm recording this on Tuesday night. So at the moment, the market's on quite a high point. As you guys can see, obviously, Sophia Smith exploded in price due to the new Rapino. Anyone from the women's... I don't know what the league this is. Oh, yeah, okay. The United States Women's League has exploded in price. That'll be the likes of your Sophia Smiths, your Dabinias. These guys have all in, uh, exploded in price. There you go. 27K, what was she down at? Okay, no, she's not up too much. But... You can see that mainly your high tier meta then, for example, that aren't for the price, like your Sophia Smith card, has exploded in price again due to the links to the brand new Rapino card. Because these cards come in very cheap, I think Krieg is something ridiculously cheap. 43,000 coins, again, putting more pressure on your 83 red cards. Rapino, again, only 97,000 coins is very, very cheap. Now, if you tag back over again, I'm just going to be continuing to lazy sell my cards. Again, there's another one just sold. So this is going to work pretty effectively, and I'd recommend that you guys sell all your 83 red for the, that you did buy into uh, tonight on Wednesday when you guys are watching this video. In terms of your 84s, I would remain holding on them cards. Just because you guys, again, wait till Black Friday for when the content does come out. And I'm just going to open some packs in the background when I continue to talk over this. Argentina centre-back. I don't think that's anything special yet. Absolutely nothing in that. But... What I also tipped in the server and what we also said about you guys can doing is investing in this week's Team of the Week. Obviously, as you guys are watching this, depending on how early you watch this, again, you do have an advantage if you watch it early, straight after content time, because that's when you guys get the most information out of these videos, and that's when the information is most relevant. So again, make sure you're watching these videos always straight after content time. Have I packed like an inform here or something? Yeah, I believe so. What's this? No idea what rating this guy is. Okay, an 85 rated inform. That's a nice walkout from the Twitch uh, Prime pack. Definitely take that. What can we get from the player pick? Skip it. Absolutely nothing. But as I was saying, uh, with our informs in this in this team of the week currently, let's combine the contracts, it was a good opportunity to invest. And this was something that was tipped in my premium server. I think we had a look at Upa Meccano. Again, these investments made us so many coins. We looked at Upa Meccano, and I think I pinged this on Sunday night. May have even been on Saturday night when he was around about 89,000 coins. Now, okay, it was about here. I tipped him at 89, admittedly. It did go low. But what we've been seeing in this trend, and I tipped this in the videos as well. So if you guys did watch the video and you bought into these cards, congratulations. The tips, you're in good profit. We tip this in the videos and in the server, obviously server before videos, because that's where you get the most notifications. So guys, again, can't put more emphasis on that. Just hit me up on Discord. Tipped him at uh, 89Ks, now 100K, a nice ride there. Grimaldo was someone who rised a lot on Monday, but it's starting to come down in price. Again, I expect this card to rise up towards 60,000 coins out of packs. That's a full screen advert. Sorry about that. I expect this card to rise up to around about 60,000 coins out of packs. But as you guys can see on Sunday, I tipped him around about 47, 48,000 coins. And then on Monday, he rose all the way up to around about 56k, where we did get an early sell time in, in the Discord. But then again, he's pretty steady. I think you guys can still invest in this card. As close to 50,000 coins as you can get it on bid. And then we did have one other card. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. But we did have one other team of the week who is the Spanish left winger. And again, we made good profit on her. There you go, Salma Paruelo. I tipped this card at, I think it was like 61,000 coins, 62,000 coins late night on Sunday. Whereas it... Let's have a look. Yeah, around about 61,000 coins there. 
boom, rocketed all the way up to 71,000, 72,000 coins. And this is a trend that we always see every week with your informs that are between that 50 to 100k price range. So what am I doing with those cards? Well, what I would do is just begin to hold on to those team of the weeks. I wouldn't sell them just yet, mainly due to the fact that they normally rise further out of packs. If you do want the coins straight away, you guys can sell them at the moment to just take the easy coins. But again, I would hold for the out of packs rise because that's when you tend to make the most coins. But something you have to be aware of is, yes, Black Friday is coming narrowly in the future, so we have to keep Black Friday in our minds. What I would say about Black Friday is just be very careful trading with your gold cards. Again, we're starting to step away with trading with gold cards entirely in the premium server. We're mainly just trading with our out-of-pack specials. And in terms of your out-of-pack specials, we're looking at cards like, you know, your record breakers trade a lot. I think some of my favorites are Kalulu. Kalulu that was one that was posted at 140 in the premium server. He's up to 153. We also got a sell time in at 160. Again, looking for these fluctuations down at 140. We saw the release of Barsha. Again, lots of good trades with Barsha causing these cards to go up a lot in price. And boom, we saw that fluctuation up to 160k. I think he's already been up to 160 today. Yeah, as you guys can see, 165 earlier today. We bought at 140. So some really nice profits overall. But, yep, yeah, you're just trading with your out of packs cards. Again, we got Rivals Rewards coming tomorrow on Thursday. So that is going to cause a little bit of supply uh, onto the market in terms of your gold cards. We could see a little bit of a rise on your gold cards, but mainly I wouldn't go too near them. Just, again, trade with your fluctuations on your out of pack specials. Anyway, guys, that's going to be pretty much all I have in terms of the market. So let's just go ahead and open up the rest of the packs, see if we can get anything special just for the sake of it. But like I'm saying... Not too much action on the next couple of days on the market. We don't expect too much. Just again, same old trading with your fluctuations, trading with the outer pack special cards. Don't go too near gold cards. It's just a bit too risky at the moment. I think that's going to be a nice little 83. So yeah, we can go ahead and flip that for 1.8k on a lazy. Can't say no to that. The coins are absolutely flowing in. Something that I'll also be aware on is if you guys... Okay, you can't list them at the moment. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to have to keep this guy unassigned. Oh, that is really annoying. Okay, we'll just... We'll... There's not actually too much I can do about that. Okay, we're just going to have to quick sell all the other cards. That's really annoying. We can go back into quick sell recovery and get them back. And same with that Lugan Silver because they're worth a lot. But again, Lugan Silvers is something you also, guys, they go for around about 1,000 coins in the market. So if you do pack one of them, just make sure that you guys are watching out for it. Last pack, can we get anything special? German, Cam, could this be Musiala? I have no idea if it's a walkout. No idea how to sell it's a walkout. Be Musiala. Thomas Miller. Okay, it's an 84 rated. We'll take the fodder. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much all I have for today's video. I hope this market update has helped you guys out. If it has, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Premium server is always there. Information in the description down below. Thank you, Miss Cat Mitch Cactus, for the sponsor. See you guys in the next one. Peace out from me.